four wheeler. I just love your inability to hide the fact that you can't spell commentaries, right? Hey guys, welcome to another commentary. Now, today's commentary is actually a surprising twist for me because I'm actually going to be commenting on one of the two people that inspired me to do commentaries, and that is none other than Shat Sills and Eleven. You know what would have made that twist more surprising? If you didn't give it away earlier. Here's the thing about action games. If they're not committed to having amazing action, nothing else really matters. Sorry, but by the way you just said that statement, you're implying that your standard for action games means it has to be either amazing or nothing. No. Okay, when did he even say that? Hey, do you remember this part? Here's the thing about action games. If they're not committed to having amazing action, nothing else really matters. Yeah, me neither. Juliet Starling is the stereotypical popular high school cheerleader character, but she also really sucks. Was he trying to make a point or an intentional pun? You decide. One second later... She's as annoying as she is stupid, and because she has a body Barbie would kill for, everyone, including the undead, wants to get into her short skirt. There you go. Like, one second after you made your statement, he was pretty much saying that Juliet is not really well developed. If there's more character development with her, then she'll be a likable character. Except he never said that. All he said was Juliet was hot, annoying, and stupid. You know, I'm just loving the fact that you're doing a commentary on a commentary on IGN, and yet what IGN is saying is completely countering your points. Lollipop has the same issues as Shadows of the Damned and No More Heroes before it. Everything around the game is great, and playing it is kind of painful. Wait, what? Did he just say No More Heroes was painful to play? Yeah, he did. Okay then, Mitch. He didn't say it was painful. He said it's kind of painful, meaning that it's not painful all the time. No, it just means that it's not going to be as painful as it could be. Besides, he technically did say it was painful. Granted, it would be... A Lesser kind of painful, but it's still painful. How bad of a commentator do you have to be to have the people you're trying to, in a sense, defend, counter you? Not because it's fully bad, but because it's so content to do absolutely nothing new. What? Hooray for an overused media clip. I mean, seriously, dude, get a different media clip other than the Bill and Ted overdone one. What if the clip he used in place of the Bill and Ted clip was overused? What would happen then? Are you kidding me? Does nothing new? This is coming from a website that basically kisses ass to games like Call of Duty and Gears of War, which are about as unoriginal as they come, yet they want to say it's Lollipop Chainsaw that doesn't do anything new? Okay, Call of Duty, you got me there. But as for Gears of War, they do do some things different, like with different weapons and stuff like that. Call of Duty has different weapons in each game. What's your point? And not only that, but D this was the, from the developer of No More Heroes, and they were kind of expecting him to do something new. But instead, it's just a cookie cutter of a generic action game. His point wasn't that Lollipop Chainsaw wasn't a generic game, but that it was criticized as one, and yet... Call of Duty and Gears of War were apparently given a free pass. Damn, you're taking these points more out of context than he is! Mini games are, more often than not, just annoying diversions disguised as escort missions or pointless fetch quests. Well, at least the game is trying to add variety to its gameplay by breaking up the moments of zombie killing with different mini games. And is he going to say why these sections are bad? Okay, he said it, like, legitimately a second prior to your statement. Minigames are, more often than not, just annoying diversions disguised as escort missions or pointless fetch quests. I rest my case. You know, I feel like I've seen that counterpoint before. Oh, wait. Uh, he just said why these sections are bad. Minigames are, more often than not, just annoying diversions disguised as escort missions or pointless fetch quests. Yeah, I think everything has been explained here. I can't even say that this is just coincidence. You've commented on that video before, so there's no excuse. The only negative they listed to do with gameplay was uninspired action. Really? That's the best you can come up with? 
True, the gameplay is a huge aspect of the game, but however, there are other aspects that can make or break it, such as the level design, the graphics, music, etc. But he wasn't talking about any of those. He was just talking about the gameplay. Someone sure does have selective hearing. And that's where I'll end the video. Ultimately, four-wheeler, the points that didn't sound like they came from Super Charmander, and heck, even some that did, fell flat on their faces. I could forgive this a little more if you were entertaining at all, but you didn't. It doesn't even sound like you tried to make a joke. Give Charmander some credit, at least he tried. Oh, and one more thing. Why was this guy liked at all?